Hey guys, this is Chris Calder with a Rapid Composer tutorial showing you guys how to quickly come up with 8-bit video game style music. I mean, 8-bit music is pretty awesome. I mean, come on, you know. I have the Togu Audio Line Uno 62. It's a great Juno uh, 60 emulator and it's awesome and this is pretty much what the patch sounds like and I'm gonna throw some chorus on it cool that's me playing my MIDI keyboard so this is super super ridiculously easy so what I did I'm just gonna walk you guys step by step with what I did with Rapid Composer I started it I dragged the ruler to 32 beats which is eight measures I right clicked master track right here I right click this I changed my key to D major changed my tempo from 120 to 140 you know I went in I right clicked track one and I you know added a VST I did this before with settings and VST it's right there so that's all set and then I hit the letter A which created a, another track I right click that and I change it to bass the sound font that comes with Rapid Composer and I already filled in my chords per bar it's basically just a real easy chord progression in D major you got D B minor so it's a 1 6 change to F sharp minor which is a 3 change and to A alright so generic generator dragging in lining it up I'm holding alt and shift and dragging to create a ghost copy of each phrase and what it this is really useful because ghost copies um, allow you to change the parameters of one phrase and throughout the composition all changes are universal okay so if I right click right here with generic generator make my changes in my in my phrase it's gonna apply to all eight of these which is cool alright I'm just putting the generic generators in there because we're gonna have some fun with this alright so now we're gonna put a bass generator on the bass track of course we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna create um oops sometimes I can't grab this because kind of hard to see the HD display it's kind of set back a little bit in my studio um, so we're just gonna create a ghost copy of all these the same way we did I'm holding alt and shift on Windows and I am just dragging creating ghost copies I've been talking with the developer a lot about using keyboard shortcuts because they're kind of essential he's got a shortcut uh, down here if you hit H, it fills each uh, every track as long as the composition is, how, however many measures. It fills it with chord generators, and that's a really easy shortcut. So basically, if you wanted to just um, cr add a track and then fill it with chord generators, chord phrases, all you have to do is hit A and H. Now, if we could do the same thing by hitting A and and say something like B, we could fill you know that track with bass generators without having to create ghost copies you know like alt shift and blah 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 but again you know I've been working closely with the guy and he's been you know just exceptionally awesome you know with adding features and and working out stuff and just really taking my uh, suggestions you know to heart which is great because we're just kinda I mean he's the he's definitely the brains behind the operation but I think you know with as much time as I spend with the software you know we're, we're kinda like I feel like a team with him so it's pretty pretty awesome so anyways you know, I was dragging generic generators into track one, which, you know, is controlling my Togu Audio Line VST, and I drag some bass generators on track two. So now, this is where the fun comes in. I'm right-clicking the first generic generator, and I'm changing from probabilistic rhythm to subdivision. And then I'm, I'm increasing the number of subdivisions, and as I do this, can you see all the cool little MIDI animations that are going on right there? It's pretty awesome stuff. I mean, these are all randomized things that take up, uh, I think, two bars. No, I think it's just, just a bar. So all of these settings, no matter what I set, and everything's tweakable, 
this is all randomized stuff. This is the whole brains behind Rapid Composer. So I'm just going to turn these boring phrases. Whoa, those basses are way too low. Hang on a second. Sometimes it happens, they kind of like get dropped in like the wrong octave. Not a big deal. All right, let's see. That sounds better. So those are really lame, you know, the generic generators, it's fine. But to give you, to show you how easy it is to make 8-bit cool stuff, again, I right-click generic generator, change this to subdivision, increase the number of subdivisions. Um, let's do only chord notes to make it really 8-bit, you know, kind of like Sega, you know, Nintendo or Sega Genesis, that kind of stuff, which I love. Um, and we'll do... Full polyphony, we could do that, but let's let's keep it somewhere in the middle. Monophonic notes, no, we're going to keep it kind of more chord style. And repeat last, no, no, we'll leave that. We'll leave all the rest of it the same. Now right here where it says note lengths, we're going to change it to quarter of a beat. No, actually less. Eighth of a beat. See, these are all short. Now watch. I'm going to apply to selection, and since these are ghost phrases, it changed every single one to the parameters that I specified right here. So now we have this, you know, formerly boring synthesizer kind of phrase, you know, using the generic generators. And we use, we tweaked, you know, this, this section right here. And we're going to play it. And this is almost instant 8 bit fun, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, tell me that that isn't incredibly awesome. Could you do this with other programs? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is pretty rad, especially for those of you who like the 8-bit video game music. Um, there's a couple bands that I actually know of. Uh, I don't know if they're still around, but Horse the Band did some really awesome, like, indie rock, like, hardcore stuff, you know, with, mixed with, like, Nintendo kind of 8-bit stuff. I love those guys. I don't know what happened to them. There's another band that does stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, really cool stuff. So again, all I did was I dragged generic generators into here. I right clicked the first one. I changed the rhythm generator type from you know generic rhythm to subdivision. I messed with this a little bit. I kind of you know, shorten the note length. I could shorten it even more. We'll do 16th notes. Then we'll apply, and it's going to sound a little more choppy. It's going to have the same groove, but it's going to be more choppy. So here's just a slight change. Now, obviously, you can't really hear the notes too well. So we will increase it to eighth. And I just changed. I hit regenerate by accident, but it'll it'll change the rhythm a little bit. But I don't really care because it's 8-bit and it's awesome. Very cool. Now these bases are a little too low, so I'm going to increase their octaves. Now we're going to listen to this with the bass in the correct octaves, so here we go. Now keep in mind, as you know, everything can be inverted, which is what I talked about in the first, uh, or the second Rapid Composer tutorial. So these were in, you know, a certain voicing. So now they're in a different voicing. Now I don't know if you guys can hear, the octaves are kind of jumping up and down. You know, like right there, it kind of went from high to low. That's not Rapid Composer, that's the VST. So if I pull up the editor window, for it. It's probably got some low speed LFO kicking or something, you know. This is just a lot of fun, you know. Anyone who's into 8-bit music, I, I, I can't really figure out, I can't really think of any um, 
way that would be faster to make 8-bit stuff than this program. It's insane. So, you know, like say I don't like that rhythm and I want to change, you know, I want to change it up. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll add some scale notes in there. So instead of just chord notes, we'll, we'll definitely uh, kind of have a mixture of them. And we'll do, you know, something like that. Move this around. Apply to selection. It's going to change all of them. So now, here's, you know, again, a, an 8-bit phrase that was just instantly generated. Here's another regeneration. So maybe we want to increase the release so we have like a nice kind of overlap, sustain. Could work, but if you're really going for that choppy 8-bit sound, you know, you're probably not going to go that route. You might, you know, have it a certain way. And let's see, take the chorus off, add some noise in the mix, see what it sounds like now. Cool. And, you know, we'll regenerate another one, we'll apply and see how the rhythm changes. So cool. You know what I'm saying? That's subdivision. There's so many things you could do. You could just mess around with all these sliders and see how it's just creating all the different MIDI. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So we'll apply these and see how this sounds. No easier way to do this than with Rapid Composer. I mean, come on. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So again, I'm just playing with the sliders, regenerating. You know? So there's so many ways you could change these phrases. I mean, look at all these parameters. This is ridiculous. And, you know, I don't know. We'll do simple inter intervals, I guess, which is one of the more, uh, you know, basic uh, type of uh, rhythmic generators in each phrase. So we'll listen to these. That sounds pretty good. That, that's got a nice Sega Genesis Nintendo quality. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I mean, come on. How how awesome is that, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's listen to it without the click track. You know, I always keep it on just to hear where my rhythm is. That's pretty rad. Exceptionally rad. And then if we wanted to tighten up the, the grooves a little bit, we shorten our notes, we apply. They're going to be chop more choppy. You know what I mean? We could do them real choppy, like this. You know. I like the quarter beat. That sounded pretty good to me. Now, granted, you could use an arpeggio VST, you know, combined with your favorite, you know, synth VST a MIDI arpeggiator, you know, and that's great, and those work really nice, and they're cool, but I haven't touched the keyboard since I was testing the sound, so <laughs> that's kind of cool, just using the mouse and just dicking around and just coming up with something fast. That's fun, you know what I mean? I don't have to hold the keyboard, I'm sitting here watching Amelie as I'm making this video, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty, uh, it's just great, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's lazy, sure, but it's fun, and, you know, music is supposed to be fun, so... You know, let's get back to that. <laughs> and uh, with Rapid Composer, I think that kind of really, you know, is the main function of it. I mean, it gives you plenty of ideas. It's a lot of fun to use. You know, you could export the MIDI, export the stuff as Wave. This is just an 8-bar sequence. I just, I created the chords myself, and I, I was just, you, you saw what I did. So, excellent stuff. Um, this is all for, you know, again, for anyone who's familiar with Rapid Composer or anyone who's a fan of 8-bit you know, music, which I love. Anyways, pretty awesome shit. So, thanks again for watching, and there will be more. So, see you guys soon.